Hello and thank you for clicking into Witchy Woo Tarot. This reading is for the general collective of all signs as we experience the new moon in Leo. It can't possibly be for everyone watching. If it does resonate with you, please let me know down in the comments. And if not, feel free to check out my channel for other messages you need to hear. Um, please remember, time, energy, gender are all fluid, so feel free to reverse roles however you see fit, whether it be past, present, or future, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So firstly, thank you to my new and returning subscribers. You guys are so amazing, and I love connecting with you guys on your spiritual journey, um, so thank you so much. And for those of you who wish to skip the astrology talk, there will be a timestamp down below in the comments that's going to take you straight to the reading. Um, but for those of you who do enjoy, let's talk about what is percolating up there and see how it can potentially affect us during the new moon. So um, we are nearing the start of Virgo season next week already. And over the last few weeks of Leo season, we've been remembering our power and who we truly are, being fearless and speaking out our truth. So collectively during this new moon is when we need to gather our resources and everything that we've learned over the last few months because new moons are when things are raised from the dark. Okay, so there's gonna be maybe some information coming to the surface that will be quite painful to swallow perhaps but the whole point of a new moon is to expose those shadows so they can be healed and cleansed for good okay so again remembering that we are the light that exposes that darkness this is going to make whatever's coming to the surface so much easier to process so just don't slide back into a toxic pattern in exchange for temporary comfort all right continue to move forward with your passion understand that you are strong enough to get through whatever zombies come up from the grave metaphorically speaking so um, we still have the sun in Leo until the 22nd, um, Mercury and the moon in Leo, which is going to keep that torch going in communication over our true desires. Um, so with Mars in Aries, it's like an extra boost in confidence to take action, which may cause some of you to be impatient and impulsive. Um, and it kind of sounds like too much fire, okay? But Venus is in Cancer, so the good news is the gotta have it now energy is going to be perfectly balanced with the reason for it all, okay? And we're talking about love. Venus is the planet of love. And the whole, you know, reason of, of everything that we've been planning and envisioning the last few months, okay? Living in our heart's plan. So we're no longer willing to delay in getting what we want in love and relationships. So even though the action planet might be a little hot-headed, it's only because of the passion that is burning within, okay? And love and passion tend to make a pretty amazing team, so... This week coming into Virgo season is where those real changes are going to be materializing. All right, so let's see what messages come out for this new moon in Leo. Um, so yeah, speaking of Virgo season, guys, I'm really excited about the Zodiac videos coming out next week. Um, <laughs> Virgo season is like the kickoff to Libra season. So that's like my favorite time of year. And I know things have been a little crazy this year so far, but honestly, I really can't even complain. Um, I don't even know <laughs> where I'd be slaving away at some nine to five job probably um, instead of doing what I really, really love doing. So, so yeah, I'm excited to release those videos. I have a lot of surprises coming up in Virgo season. Um, I've been working on a lot of projects to share with you all. So let's see what energy we have coming up for the collective for this new moon in Leo. For the new moon in Leo, for the collective, please. What energy, what theme, what lesson is going to be relevant? It's time to take action. And it's a new moon in Aries, but still, it's a new moon. We're going through a new moon. And what was I saying about Mars being in Aries? All about action? I just feel like um, 
it's so cool when I talk about the energy and the energy actually comes out in the cards. So again, just it's time. It's been time. We've got to start moving forward. We've got to start putting the seeds in the ground. We've got to start manifesting all that it is that we truly desire. Okay. Um, bottom of the deck, we have new moon in Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. So we have more new moon energy um, popping up. And, you know, we have been doing the work, haven't we? And the last few collective readings, it's been all about that. Doing the work paving the way for the new foundations um, because, you know, the old shifty ones are now fallen, okay? So everything that you're doing to manifest this new beginning, everything you're putting into it, all of the elbow grease and, and just the, the energy, the passion, it's paying off, okay? You're going to start seeing those, those desires manifesting um, in your 3D world, okay? So... Guys, I'm going to be using the last unicorn tarot and I'm going to shuffle it down here because this deck is really thick, but it's also very beautiful. So um, this is like a really special movie to me. Um, I used to watch it a lot as a little girl and it's very symbolic. Um, and the journey is of a unicorn who is told she's the last and she goes in search of of the rest of the unicorns okay it might sound kind of silly and girly but um it's actually a really good movie so anyways the artwork is beautiful and we're gonna go ahead and see what the recent past energy is for the collective using this deck All right, let's get the recent past energy. I might just have to cut and pick because it seems pretty, it's like that crickets moment right now. Nothing's happening, nothing's coming. Oh, here we go. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so let's slide this on over. What's gonna be um, the present energy? during this new moon. Present energy for the new moon in Leo. Okay. Guys, if the lovers doesn't come out in every damn reading that I do for the collective, Lord. Okay, and what will be happening in the future energy for the collective? Wow, this is beautiful, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I might cry during this reading. Uh, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Coins. So this is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, we're working our way up into that material abundance, right? Um, so I feel like in the, in the more recent past, we have the energy of manifesting, um, bringing stability to our home, being nurturing, being kind, um, and just really allowing our feminine side to, to shine, okay? Because the Queen of Pentacles is very, very similar to the Empress in that she is a good mother, she is a good um, wife, she, it's like, some of you may be wanting to manifest this type of person into your life, okay? Some of you may just be getting into this energy. Either way, we have for the recent past the King of Wands and the Justice card. I'm like shaking. This reading is so beautiful. I can't wait to explain it all. So King of Wands and Justice, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So this right here, very similar to this image right here, right? This is very passionate, take charge energy, very masculine, okay? This is someone who goes after what they want. They don't take no for an answer. And they stand up for what they believe in. Paired with the justice card, even more so. Okay, going after what it is that's right. Doing the right thing. Some of you may have recently 
um, you know, won a legal battle. This could be anything, but you know, some of you could have recently gotten divorced or separated. Um, and you know, again, lots of endings have been happening. Lots of truths that we thought were true are actually not true at all. Right. And justice is all about finding the balance and bringing the truth to light. Okay. So coming up on this new moon, as I was saying, things are going to be exposed. The truth will be revealed. All will be right. This is justice. This is balance. This is also Libra energy. So let's take a look at the present energy. We have, we have the lovers and we have the page of wands. So as we all know, the lovers is about making a choice. Um, some of you may be making a choice right now, but the way this reading is going, it's kind of looking like you're making a choice in love. Okay. As I was saying, Venus and cancer, it's all about love right now. And we have all of the, fi like all the fires going off basically. Everything's firing off without a hitch. Everything's lining up. We're standing up in our power. We're speaking our truth. We're taking action. We're making decisions and we're putting them down on paper. We're manifesting things. This is balance. This is union. This is a divine connection. Some of you may have left a previous relationship to move forward into a meaningful emotional connection with the one, okay? And with the page of wands right next to this card, again, passion, action, moving forward, going after what it is, like going after what it is that we want to begin, okay? He's reading a book, but he's a magician. He's practicing. He's putting the first steps forward in an idea. And he's, he intends to make it happen, okay? This is the intention in the present, whoever this is. So since this is a collective reading, this could be just your general energy. This could be about you and another person. Um, just take it however it applies to you. And if it doesn't, then feel free to click off. Let's see. So in the future energy, we have the two of cups and the ace of cups. I feel like these images are self-explanatory. Okay. The two of cups, similar to the lovers. This is balance, emotional connection, equal give and take, mutual feelings. It's harmony. As you can see, they're lovingly gazing at one another. This is way deeper than some sexual chemistry or some physical connection. They're both here, each of them with full cups, not expecting anything from the other, just genuinely enjoying their presence. Ace of Cups is a brand new emotional beginning. It's a brand new start. This is two becoming one. Okay. I'm hearing Spice Girls <laughs> right now. And tonight is the night. Yes. When two become one. Ace of Cups. This is a birth of a new relationship. A new beginning. This could literally mean a birth. Okay. This could be you finally coming together with that person that you've been planning to move towards and making things official. Okay. As you can see, this cup is actually a fountain and whatever this is, it, there's definitely a lot of emotion involved. Okay. So let's go ahead and get some clarity from the sun and moon tarot for the recent past. I don't even feel like we really need clarity, but I'm going to get it because this is really juicy, guys. Let's get some clarity for the recent past. I'm going to take both of these because they were about to fall out. Oh, Ace of Swords for the present energy. 
y'all the lovers again the lovers to clarify the lovers can can the message be any more clear at this point so for the future energy the chariot beautiful all right let's talk about it guys bottom of the deck we have the full brand new beginning what did i say a leap of faith taking that first step off the cliff into what might seem very dangerous but it doesn't really matter because this person's following the butterfly they're following their freedom they're following their their hopes their faith so to clarify for the recent past, we have the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Very interesting. So as I was saying, some of you may have recently gotten divorced or separated, ended a long-term commitment. Because with the Nine of Pentacles, this is the single card. Single Ladies by Beyonce is playing in my head now. So this is the Single Lady card. This is someone who's on their own manifesting abundance in their life, someone who is <clears throat> stable financially um, and doesn't need anyone else. They are not in partnership, okay? With the Ace of Swords, this is, this is the clarity. This is the truth. I feel like <clears throat> a part of that Justice card, as Prince Lear is holding a sword in his hand, the truth is coming out. The truth is going to be, it's going to get out there, okay? Whoever this is, you're speaking your truth on the matter. You might be letting people know that you're no longer in this partnership. <sighs> so to clarify, we have the lovers again. So this... This is the choice, okay? It's like this Cupid's arrow is shooting down on this couple. There's a happy family, a divine connection, balance, union, partnership. This is what is being manifested in the present. And to clarify the two of cups and the ace of cups, we have the chariot, which is all about fast, movement forward charging forward taking action and this is also cancer energy so as i was saying cancer is really going to be taking the lead even though we have all of this fire energy everywhere else cancer energy is going to take the lead and there's going to finally be a balance this is a gorgeous reading. I can't even, I can't even believe um, this. So let's see what blockage may be present for the collective with the energy oracles. What blockage may be present for the collective? Like I said, though, guys, we've been building our strength. We have been really figuring things out and awakening. I don't think there's any blockage or challenge that can't be that can't be taken care of, that can't be busted through. OK, um, the reading is really clear on things moving forward. So let's see. Let's see what what could be potentially coming up to trigger us, I should say. So we have the magician and the mirror. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the angel of strength. So literally what I was talking about, okay? We have the magician and the mirror. As you can see, the magician is here trying to manifest, learning, taking those first steps into manifesting this decision that's been made. So some of the blockages may potentially be um, doubts, fears, shadow work. This magician, if the mirror is the blockage, maybe some truths might be coming out about your own self, okay? Maybe you might look at, look at yourself in the mirror and see little remnants of things that still need to be healed, which may cause a little bit of doubt or insecurity. But 
like I said, with the sun, the moon, and Mercury in Leo, we have the strength card, angel of strength. I feel like whatever this is, the fact of the magician, knowing that you are that infinite power, that you can manifest whatever the hell you want into this 3D life. You're going to bust right through that. You're just going to understand that, that it is what it is. Insecurities exist in your mind. They do not define you. You are not your mind. You are not a body, a meat suit, a flesh prison. Okay, you are a spirit. You are a soul. This is the power of your soul. The challenge is going to be grasping that within your mind, convincing your mind <laughs> that you're more powerful than it is, okay? So, powerful message there. I'm gonna put that right there. Actually, I'm gonna put it right here, sorry. So, let's see if we have any messages from the little reminders. Um, these cards are so cute. I found them at the beach. Um, seems like forever ago since I was there, but I found them at the beach and they are just little reminders, just kind of giving you some good mantras and good ways to see life. Since a lot of times, like I said, our mind plays tricks on us and we do that self self hate talk to ourselves. Um, so yeah, let's see what we have. Ah, oh my goodness. We have visualization. So visualizing what we've, what we're wanting to manifest. Okay. I make mental pictures of my goals that are simple and to the point. So manifesting via visualization. Okay. Understanding that you are the infinite power that can bring whatever you want into this world, thinking about it, seeing it as if it is, is going to bring it in even quicker, okay? Now we have attitude and relax. Hmm, interesting. We have a tiger here in this picture too. So before I even flip the cards, as I mentioned before, it is kind of also about your attitude moving forward, okay? Understanding that hot-headed energy is not going to get you anywhere and just kind of letting things flow. Um, understanding that, you know, you are just, by being still, by just allowing things, you, you don't have anything to worry about, okay? So I attract success and positive people into my life with my positive attitude. Exactly. So like attracts like. Um, you know, if you're giving negative energy to the universe, if you're having a piss poor attitude, um, you know, piss poor is going to come right back in your face. Okay. Um, so we also have relax. I choose to relax and not to fill my mind with worry as that creates stress. Exactly, guys. There's really nothing to stress about. We've already done the hard work. Okay. We've already put in the work. Now it's time to kick back and, like I said, gather everything we've learned, um, <clears throat> you know, get our resources together and trust in ourselves, okay? It's time to put these things into action. It's time to pursue our desires. No more sitting on the sidelines, okay? You better go after it. Um, and when you do, please let me know in the comments how it turns out. Um, I love you guys. I hope that um, you guys are being safe, that you're well. If you want to check out my website and purchase a private reading, you can do so at www.witchywootarot.com. Also, please check out my Instagram at witchywootarot. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. All right, guys. Have a great night. And I will see you for Virgo Season Zodiac videos. Bye.